All right, good morning. It is December, what is today? December 29th, and this is your episode of Simply Sham. All right, first, let me um start this off by saying it has been confirmed. Beyonce was admitted into the hospital today. Well, I think it was like early last night. But yes, B is in the hospital and they are reporting that she is indeed in labor. Now, I had to get that out of the way because that was not what was um on the on the agenda for today. Y'all, let me tell you, my sleep schedule is so off. It's either I'm up all night until my mom gets home in the morning or I fall asleep and I'm up by 4 o'clock. So last night was one of those 4 o'clock nights. Now, let's see. To start this off, what was it? It was, um, I don't know, most of y'all have heard Deion Sanders is divorcing his um, wife of many years, Pilar. Well, apparently Deion daughter, Dondria, I think that's her name, Deandria, um, Deandria ain't happy, having it, or whatever, so she went to Twitter, and y'all know I'm, stay, I'm constantly on Twitter at Famous Diva Sham, but, um, yeah, his daughter, Deandria, she went off, and she knew that her dad would not approve of it, so she started it off by saying, first and foremost, I would like to apologize for what is about to happen. My dad is going to be very upset at me for ha- he always takes the higher route. Okay, so I, she let it be known that she was supposed to step out of line and step out of character. Um, She tweeted, she says, now, my dad has been nothing but great to Pilar. Her nor her mom has worked in over 11 years. Pilar, it must be nice, girl. Must be nice. And so she used the hashtag, how your top priority, whatever. And she goes on to say, how your top priority been marriage and your kids when you fly out of town to see other niggas. Yeah, we know. So um, she also went on to say she just needs to stop playing the victim when she really is the problem. Um, she said her dad name is um, what made her famous. Um, what did she say? My sister turned 8 December 14th. I couldn't even take her to the spa day for her birthday. She told me, my mama won't allow me to go with you. Really? So, Pilar must have had some, you know, some issues. But, um, this is just from Media Takeout. And, um, like I say, y'all know everything I get, I get it from either Media Takeout, the young, um, black, fabulous and black, whatever it is. Or this new one that I just discovered by listening to 97.9 this morning, Hello Beautiful. Um, uh, Hello Beautiful had way more on it, but let's see if I can pull it up anyway. But like I said, this is getting out of hand. Apparently, like they say, if you really want to know the truth, go ask the kids. So, that's that. Um, Fantasia. Now, y'all know Fantasia just had a new baby. Now, you also know if you recall, I reported back, um, it might have been a year or so ago, Fantasia, um, you know, the whole suicide, sleeping pills, um, scandal that went on, but she had this lawsuit because apparently in North Carolina, you hoes don't get away with too much out there. I'm not calling Fanny a hoe, but it is what it is. You don't get away with too much out there. You sleep with a married man and you break up his home, you're going to have to pay for it. So that was the whole idea. You know, she had that lawsuit out there for that. Um, What was it? She, okay, apparently she had the baby. She had a little boy. I think his name is Dallas. He, um... She says she wants Antoine, that's the guy's name, Antoine Cook, to step up. Now, keep in mind, this guy is still married to his wife. I don't know if you can put separated in the title, but he, whatever he is, he is not Fantasia's, but he's Fantasia's baby daddy, but that is somebody else's husband. Fanny, um, t- what's really going on? Tell me what's really going on. Did you seriously think that this guy was... I mean, after all this time, you know, the it's been all over TV. You've even seen him on Fantasia's show. And he's still not left his wife there. So, like I said, what's really going on, Fanny? 
um, what was the last one? It was, um, Tammy, I was reading this morning, you know, when I was looking over my stuff. Apparently, Tammy is being sued once again. Tammy, what's really going on, boo? What is going on? Um, it said something about, uh, you know, the chick, Mika Mecca, or whatever her name was, from last season of, uh, Basketball Wives, was suing her for getting an ass whooped on camera, because that's all it was. She got an ass whooped on camera, she ain't, she ain't like the fact that the whole world saw it, because, yeah, she got t rolled Um, she was suing her for that, but if I'm not mistaken, she dropped that lawsuit, because she said something about it, Tammy learned her lesson. No, the lesson that should have been learned was to shut your damn mouth when you're on TV or any other place, if you don't know what you're talking about. Um, it said her ex-manager was suing her, and then, you know, Tammy just came out with this new hairline, and the salon is based out here in Houston, Cream de la Cream, um, something. Ask me about it, and I'll let you know the link, because I follow him on Twitter and everything else. So, get at me if you want to know the salon or whatever, or the link to the hair. Really nice hair, but apparently... The story says, and I do say apparently, because Tammy tweeted, she gave the stuff back, but this lady, apparently Tammy got some hair from this woman, and I guess was trying to see what it was, and sent it back to her. The lady is claiming that Tammy used that hair in her promotional pictures for Tammy's hairline, and is not paying her for using her product. How she gonna tell if that's her hair or not, I will never know. But like I said, Tammy tweeted and said she was a lying bitch because she sent stuff back to her what she needed her hair for. Y'all know I'm team Tammy all the way. So shout out to you, boo. Um, and that's pretty much pretty much it for today on what's really going on. Um, I will make a video because something happened with um Houston out here and these ladies breastfeeding. It must be something with Target because I tell you when I was there, the women was pulling out their titties left and right in them lines like it wasn't nothing. Um, all for breastfeeding and nurturing your baby in public. But put on a blanket or something like that when you got little kids saying, Mama, why her booby out, why her titty out in my face? So it got to be something with Target. That must be the new hot spot. So in my next video, I will fill you in on everything that happened with that. So until next time, if you find out, you let me know what's really going on with Simply Shane. Bye, y'all.